Good day everyone! This is Miss Joyce and welcome back to another interesting topic in science. Because learning science is fun! Before we proceed with our new lesson, let us try to recall what we have learned last time. Let's see if you still remember our last episode. Again, what was our last lesson? Yes, you are correct! Last time, we discussed about quantitative and qualitative observation. So again, what is the difference between qualitative and quantitative observation? Very good! So qualitative observation deals with data that can be observed with our senses. It does not involve measurements or numbers. Quantitative observation uses numerical and statistical parameters. It is associated with values that can be counted such as age, weight, volume, and scale. Alright, so let us proceed to our next lesson. These are our objectives. 1. Define elements and compounds. 2. Differentiate elements from compounds based on their composition from the given chemical names and formulas of elements and compounds. We are going to look around us. There are a lot of things that we can see. Everything in this world is made up of matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Matter can be classified into two, pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances has a definite composition and the same composition all throughout. Pure substances can either be an element or a compound. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances that can be separated by physical means. Mixtures has a variable composition and combines in any proportion. Under pure substance, we have elements and compounds. Element is a substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical means. There are 118 known elements and 92 are existing naturally and 26 are produced artificially. Element has only one kind of atom. All that we can see in the periodic table are elements. Elements in the periodic table are arranged in increasing atomic number. How about a compound? A compound is a pure substance made from two or more different elements. It is formed through chemical reaction. Examples of compounds are 1. Water Chemical formula H2O Additional information So what is the chemical formula? The chemical formula is a shorthand method of writing the name of the substance showing the symbols and the exact number of atoms. So let's go back with water. The chemical formula is H2O. So what are the elements combined to form water? Yes, you are right. Hydrogen and oxygen. Meaning, it has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So water is a compound. Another example, table sugar. Chemical formula, C12H22O11. Chemical name, sucrose. So what are the elements combined to form a table sugar? Very good! So we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So there are 12 atoms of carbon, 22 atoms of hydrogen, and 11 atoms of oxygen. So again, table sugar is a compound. Another example, table salt. Chemical formula, NaCl. Chemical name, sodium chloride. So what are the elements combined to form a table salt? You're awesome! Sodium and chlorine. So we have one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine. So table salt is another example of a compound. Last example, sand. Chemical formula, SiO2. Chemical name, silicon dioxide. So what are the elements combined to form a sand? You are correct! Silicon and oxygen. 
So we have one atom of silicon and two atoms of oxygen. So sand is a compound. Now, try to answer the following. Get a paper and a pen. I know you can do it. Determine if the given examples are elements or compounds. Take your time! Okay, let's check your answers. Leave your scores in the comment section. Let us now summarize our lesson for today. Again, element is a substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical means. Element has only one kind of atom. A compound is a pure substance made from two or more different elements and it is formed through chemical reaction. So that's it! I hope you enjoy our lesson for today. Thank you for watching! Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe! See you in the next video lesson. Goodbye!